us. It's us the normies, and we're here to watch more Cowboy Bebop. Woo! Woo! Bop. Yeah. Um, <gasps> this, today we're watching uh, episode 14, Bohemian Rhapsody. Yeah. 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 Which is really fucking dope, obviously. I just, yeah. I, I've been loving the titles, um, and this, this the last two episodes were really fucking good. Like, it, they were just, they were, they were perfect by themselves. They, they gave out more story, background story about uh, uh, Spike. And we got to learn more about Vicious and Grin, and just like the whole war that they were all around. And I just, I, I mean, it was, it, was, it was fucking awesome. I feel like they were like super soldiers. Apparently, it was shit. the mid season finale. Yeah. Didn't, um, you, uh, didn't you learn something about the, this other show they also made? Samurai show? Oh, yeah. Mickey's yeah, they made sa- The yeah. show that I recommend. Yeah, oh, yeah. So, <laughs> Sam, I guess the creators of this made Samurai Champloo, and Samurai Champloo is more hip hop oriented, which. I would love to watch that. Okay. The, yeah. the director the, the of this shit. also did Animatrix, the movie that you guys love. Oh, oh, I love Animatrix. It's so, so good. same guy. So, well, I mean, Animatrix is they're, they're, it's like an anthology, I, and I, he, so, each one had a different. Like, I mean, he. I mean, he was one of them then. Yeah, hey, must have been the anime style one. Sir, I have a question. Do you uh, you play Metal Gear Solid, right? Yes, he does remind me of Solid. Do you, do you see a resemblance between Spike, Grin? Uh, and, and, and Sid. Ah, Lazy and Fon Teddy? Huh? The Lazy and Fon Teddy project? The clones? Solidus? And yeah, Liquid. do you see a, do you see a, no, a notable resemblance? It's pretty fucking uncanny. I'm like, yo. A little bit, but I don't like, know They're like super soldiers, and they yeah. were like in a war, and like... Now, I don't know about them being super I, soldiers. I think they I, might I, be. I heard though. Mickey's theories about like Spike being part like robotic or something. I, I don't think so. I mean, it could be, because I've seen some hints here and there. Yeah. He's, he's enhanced somehow. But... I Spike just think is, I just think yeah. he's as calm as water, and I just think Vicious is the opposite of Spike. Kind of like Solid Snake. And... They warned the snake cannot eat the dragon. Yeah. Well, that guy told Vicious, yeah, the order or whatever. I'm I it, it's cool. I, this last episode was being what the fuck. This is pretty dope. Well, so I'm I'm hoping that with the Bohemian Rhapsody they'll use maybe a uh, because Bohemia is a region in the Czech Republic. Hmm. I'm hoping that they will use uh, music from a Czech composer. I see a little silhouette <laughs> of a man. Yeah. Scaramouche, Scaramouche. Can you play that? I don't, Holy shit. Yeah, I, I think that there will be more into like the classical music. Queen. And yeah. we'll I see. Hope. Well, let's best hacker around. Yeah, that, that, you know, that song. <laughs> You guys, you guys didn't know that, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> I, I was like, I was like, wait, hold on. The first words are "Mama just killed a man." Wait, are they? Oh, killed a man. I love all the episode titles because they're like musically related. Yeah, Asteroid Blues, Honky Tonk Woman. Yeah, I said that in our discussion with Heavy Metal Queen. Heavy Metal Queen. My favorite episode was last two. They were really good. I like the good ones. I like the Spike centric one too. Yeah. I mean, I'm sorry, the Jet centric one. That was good. Because uh, we didn't know much about him, and it was cool to see that a woman was kind of influenced his past too. I feel like woman, every single episode has tragedy and hope in it. A woman is influencing Spice, whatever. Past, I mean, you know. Julia. Sounds like a wench. <laughs> she apparently has an amazing smile. Oh, and we also saw that weird, like, horror episode. That was oh kinda, my god, that, that was, was like an alien movie. episode? Yeah, that was the alien episode. That was actually an homage to the alien was, movie. Yeah, kinda, I figured. That was awesome. Fillery, kind of a little scary. bit. scary. And, and it was it just some. Turned out super silly. It was just some old. <laughs> and just ate it. Old food. Old lock robs, uh, rock lobster from Ganymede. Don't leave food in the fridge. Gan- <laughs> Ganymede. <laughs> Ganymede rock lobster. It's a good Ga- lesson. Funnily enough, I was about to clean the fridge after this. <laughs> Damn. Thanks, girl. Whoa, okay. hey! Oh. Uh, imposters, maybe? Yep, there's a chess game being played. Hmm. Or just adult business, they gotta leave the kid out. Welcome back! <laughs> so, how'd it go? <laughs> they were just gone, so I So what? You did it. You caught every criminal on the whole list. But you didn't pick up any leads or clues? Come on! <laughs> ah. Got him! I like it. Not chick. That's kind of cool. The Earth is dead. Some crazy architecture. 
Our server's gone down from all the e-complaints. You know there's a movement out there to sue the company for damages. Where are the damn bounty hunters when you need them? We put out a huge bounty on the guy. True, but maybe it wasn't enough. <laughs> Big shot! This guy's accent kills me. <laughs> Like, what is he? <laughs> I think he's like, he, he's a Hispanic cowboy. Oh, by the way, somebody sold our couch. That's why you're sitting here, like this. No, I said we gave it up for rent. Oh, damn. <laughs> I said Pat took it out for a date. <laughs> why would the kind of two-bit hoods who usually rob convenience stores suddenly attack an astral gate? I don't know. Maybe it's a new fad for criminals. Right. I love this shot. Apocalypse Now shot. Don't we all pony up the information we have on this case and agree to split the bounty three ways? What do you say? You're kidding, right? You're the one who said to work separately. Each one gathering the facts and examining them. Occasionally. <laughs> <laughs> she wants to play nice. Is the size of the reward scramble your brain? What? You guys are really keen on the idea. I can't believe it. After all, we each wanted the bounty to put in our own pockets, right? Three kings? Mm-hmm. Man, how the, the, old is the this order guy? Order All 20 know, hits were done the same way. And attached the hacking oh, unit very guy. precisely. At the exact moment it paid the toll, they could steal the entire balance from the credit chip. Ooh. There, the money was electronically laundered through a series of blind transactions that can't be traced in any way. All the culprits were caught in the act. None of them have anything in common. On top of that, not one of them had a single stolen wool on them. Maybe they were just oh, Maybe they just didn't even know about it. That their identities were used. Maybe the other thieves were all wannabes who read the same manual, you know? Manual? Most of this story takes place on Jupiter's moons. Mm -hmm. I think Jupiter's got the most moons. All new criminal support mm -hmm. software. Act now for this special offer for the low introductory price of thirty dollars Criminal software? Good That's bargain. definitely computer aid. In cyberspace, it's virtual. There's no actual location. Now the website's gone without a trace. You know who's gonna help? Of course, my girl! Those units were designed by some piker. It was an Best insider who knows precisely ever. how the gate system works. Whoever's behind it is probably connected to the gate corporation. Ah, uh, like that shot. Ah, oh, phase off insider divided. You mean a crooked program? Right, yeah. She heard hacking and already went at it. Yeah. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Are you dead? Hey. <laughs> Bro, she's the best. Uh, where were we? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> These pieces are it. They're still our best clues. Give it to Ed. Mm -hmm. Give it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh. There it is. The cartridge for playing e chess. The memory uh, chip stores data within the piece. Oh, yeah. That's pretty you cool. You can activate one game. Yeah. It connects to the <clears throat> net. See? Wow. And so this has something to do with the incidents at the gate? They have to beat all three games? Maybe they have to beat all three games. Yeah, it's gotta be connected to the, the order somehow. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, if I get the old man. You too, eh, John? You went through all that trouble for nothing, like an amateur. <laughs> this one is much tougher than it looks, Jet. There's no smoking. I'm afraid there's no smoking allowed in here. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry, my bad. Actually, I don't have any questions. It's just there's something I want you to see. What's that? I think that cigarette is a listening device. Put a bounty out on some mastermind who may not even exist, which means you don't want the police to know who's really behind this. You suits are using us bounty hunters like pawns. Ah. Uh. And I don't appreciate it. Bounty hunters should look for bounties. I suggest you do that. Our guest is leaving now. Make sure he's escorted out of the building. Yeah, that cigarette, maybe. He got it. Uh. <laughs> that sign behind him that was like this. No. If this thing ever gets out. Damn. Yep. Called it. 
Why would a ghost from 50 years ago suddenly come back now? Chess Master Hex. Yeah. The whole thing really is a game for So they're not behind it. Chess Master Hex, huh? Grandmaster Flex, Chess Master Hex. Mm. Uh-huh. Looking like King Boomy over here. That's awesome. I wonder if finally we old man. That wasn't it's, was it? It's Ed playing against the old man. <laughs> Her freaking feet. There's nothing in here but chess data. I wonder what they were planning to do with these things. Well, the data doesn't have any meaning, but chess. what if the chess pieces themselves are some kind of You have to beat them. They must be coded. <laughs> No, like, uh, you just you just have to beat him. That's how I feel. Hey, I clap with my feet too. I've got an ID. See what you can find on it. It could be the so-called mastermind behind this thing. Huh. Ed. Edward is very busy right now. <laughs> 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 oh, looking. I mean, is Ed playing against him? Yeah. yeah. Check, gotcha. check, 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 checkmate! Oh my God. Oh, and, uh, so it thought. My night takes nice. <laughs> this guy's like finally a challenge. Okay. This is either an idiot or a genius. I like this fellow. It's a genius. <laughs> she. Chess Master Hex. A programmer that had been dubbed a genius from his teens. He applied his intellect to the hyperspace gate project. He eventually developed a central control system that all gates use to this day. I think the government screwed him over somehow. He said the design had defects and the gates shouldn't be built yet. He wanted to run more tests. So they fired him and built the gates anyway. He's been missing for the last 50 years. Oh my god. Is he trying to get revenge after all these years or what? Maybe if we track him down we can get to the bottom of it. Hey Ed. Edward is very busy. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. <laughs> He's playing against him. Hex <laughs> <laughs> the chess master. Edward is playing chess against him right now. Damn. What? Literally, Edward is the best addition to this team. The most eccentric, for sure. I don't like this. He made it much too easy to trace him. This guy's too smart for that. Maybe it's a false trail. I mean, look where we're heading. Would he be in a dump like that? Hold on a minute. I heard about this place a long time ago. A kind of floating scrapyard where they leave wrecked gate parts, abandoned spaceships, and scrap metal. There's no government, no nationality, no taxes, and no cops. They see it as total freedom. There's also nothing. Yeah. Perfect place to hide out. Mm -hmm. Like, no food. Yeah. What the fuck are you doing there? No water. I mean, he's smart. Remember, this could be a trap. A continuation of the game. Whatever happens, happens. Yeah, I lost. Sorry. I knew it. It's the name of an episode. <laughs> Almost. It looks like Speed Racer. Mm hmm A little bit. I like their suits. Yeah, they did the grab, grab, really? grab shoes. She's too. got heels. Yeah, yeah, style, like, man. Why, did, why did they build seals into a space? <laughs> because she, she requested it. <laughs> style, man. Fashion. If you really want to have stylized spacesuits in the future, like Gucci spacesuits. It's like this. I've got a score to settle with the guy you're looking for. Uh -oh. oh no! Well, don't shoot at me. What the fuck? We can work together. No honor among thieves. What are bounty hunters? Damn, this music is the shit. I hear a tabla. Yeah, and a sitar. No <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I think this guy's got lots of pets. Oh. Food. He had a bird too, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Just wasted. Oh. They're sleeping. Those are yeah. games. Those are just squatters. Oh, is this just like a fucking like a? Graveyard? Oh, look at them! No, they're sleeping, guys. They're like a space tent city. Yeah. Oh. There's one stoners up there. It's a space tent city. Space hippies. Spickies. 
Shippies. Hippies. Does that mean like the belts or hippies? I'll call them shippies. Is there a chat feature to this chess game? Can we say hi? <laughs> chess Master Hex, I take it. Don't try anything. He's, Understand? He's, he's, you both are. He's old as shit. Well, could you be just a little quieter, please? <laughs> <laughs> old man. Kill this guy. Pretending to be senile won't get you out of this. Who are you? Either you give me the money you took, or I put a hole right through your brain. <laughs> That's quite a large pipe there. <laughs> <laughs> My first formidable opponent in ages. It's like there must be some player to pin you down. What's your next move? I don't know. Let's have lunch first. You ate lunch a few minutes ago, blast it. Are these the old men <laughs> that have always been showing up? Like in the other episodes? Oh. Savings gone. I'll never get it back now. <laughs> damn it. God damn it. Anyone, everyone, you, the whole world. It's all a mistake! <laughs> Whoa. What is wrong with you? What the hell? Who is it? Shoot this guy. This Here's guy's senile. The there you go. There you One go. One good time. What are we going to do with him? The old Duffer's out of touch. He can't recall. Duffer. I haven't heard that. I mean, that's definitely a lie, right? He's insane, right? Hex is no longer here. There's no one left but an old man who loves to play games. Mm. Something in the chess game is giving him a hint. He wanted revenge, and this is how he got it. He set up the sting to kick in 50 years later when the gate was pre-scheduled for its first automatic tech upgrade. Nice. It was all planned out. Hilarious. He even arranged for his operatives to carry chess pieces to let you know that he had finally gotten back at Damn. Him. Damn. Fifty years is a long time. Hex got old. Then he got senile. He completely forgot about the traps that he himself had set. Well, it's better for you this way. That's crazy. I know he won't expose you now. Your dirty little secret will remain a secret. Yeah. Or is he? You don't have to worry about him. You just have to worry about us. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, damn. What's your price to keep from leaking this thing to the press? Just leave the old guy alone. Aww. Off the bounty hunters. That's all we ask. What? These guys, you man. See, Ed would be unhappy. Yeah, she's Aww. gonna keep playing chess. We wouldn't want that to happen, <laughs> now would we? Damn. Alright, that's, that's dope. Chad, you're so sweet. Just probably Are the you nicest playing job. again? Not again, Ed's still playing. You mean, you played the same game for a week? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's see. Well, good luck, Ed. <laughs> it's like playing chess against my dad. It takes years for one move. Yeah, those are the same. He just became one of the hippies now. There is Antonio. Nice fella. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy. So many of those stories that the old men are always telling are real. He lost, yeah. he lost. Oh yeah, you, you're always gonna lose to a more experienced player. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> nice. That's a good episode. Oh, oh, is he gonna pass now? Oh, I think he is. Oh. Of course, I gotta leave us on a dour note. They always do. Bittersweet is the tone of this show. Man, he could just have a chess partner. But... That was really good. I like that episode a lot. Huh? Uh, what was that Black King. That was him. He was the king. That was a good episode. That was a good one. Any thing that is awesome. He's good. I was thinking maybe the feather was gonna knock his piece down because when you knock your own piece down, that's the when you succeed. The feather see. looked like it was Blowing. like falling apart, like the chess pieces that were like digital. Mm -hmm. The feather looked like it wasn't real. No, oh, I thought the feather was gonna knock the chess piece down because when you knock your own chess piece down, that's maybe when you it surrender. Was, yeah, maybe and it was, was just, just light. admitting defeat and dying right there. So, uh, he, 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 he died, died happy. He died happy. He died a winner. He died a finally worthy opponent against some. I think that was a really good episode. A man. week game, <laughs> a whole week that finish really that good. game. Well, yeah, that that was a lot uh, tougher than it looked because it was like. It wasn't your normal bounty. Like he, he forgot about what he did. Like he, he, he set up this whole like trap, and then he just forgot. About it. <laughs> Fifty <funny>. years later. 
<laughs> he got so senile, man. He's but that like, uh, that probably would have been a cool little play. I mean, like, I mean, I don't know. There was a bunch of like space hippies there, like in in the wreckage, just like. There's a place in the U.S. <laughs> like that where there's like no laws, no nothing. There's like Tent I mean, City. There's, it's called Slap City. What? Slap City. In California, right? Yeah, it's called Slap yeah, City. There's no place law. like that. There's, there's no like laws no law, there. no nothing. It's a self-governing, it's self-governing like, city. I mean, there's like federal law always, but like. Within the jurisdiction or anything, I don't know. I don't know how it works. It's not like it's neighborhoods. It's like people yeah. live in like trailers and shit. Like it's, it's, it's yeah, like, they like not... do artwork and they like. There's no money. They just they grow shit and yeah, it's self government uh, city. But um, what makes you happy, I guess. But uh, I mean, that guy in the end, he joined the hippie world, and oh, the, I think he the other bounty hunter. Think nice he... fella. <laughs> nice <laughs> fella. <laughs> <laughs> Those three old guys are fucking everywhere. Like, where, what, who are they? they? Yeah, how do they get around? <laughs> like, what? They get around. Man. Are they like the the vicious Gren and uh, Spike of the older generation, and they're just hanging around? Who what were you saying, Marquetta? Um, I was saying I think that maybe the the guy when he was young just settled there for his like revenge plan, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and then started feeling alone. So he like grew enough fruit and resources for like other people to just be there and just hang out mm-hmm. because I mean he was able to just be self-sustained and like it didn't hurt him in any way to support others so he like, just didn't want to be alone I think I like how his name was Hex yeah because he put a hex on the people that kind of betrayed him it was yeah. a 50 year long one that was you know didn't open like come to fruition until 50 years had passed but still it was a hex yeah Right. So, yeah. That was spot on, man, with the uh, cigarette being the human aid. Yeah, they focused a little too much on it. I was like, eh, why would he spark up right in front of them, knowing that yeah. they would say don't smoke, and then put it right there? Hmm. I didn't catch that. I didn't hear them say don't smoke before that. I knew they were going to say it, because he just started nonchalantly, like, in an office corporate building. Like, they would never allow that, uh. even in Spice. Um, on you, Ray. But... Only in Mad Men they allow that. <laughs> in the 1960s. Oh man! I have never ever beaten my dad in chess, and I played him like same here, bro. I'm, I, uh, dads are good. Like I, they're just a generation that played chess when they were younger. You don't play chess? Yeah, I don't play, but I I'm no good, chess. dude. My dad is my dad will always cream me every time. Me and my sister would play all the time. I don't I don't think I ever played against my dad. What was the thing that Prank Invasion would say? That H three make fun of like I'm playing checkers. I'm playing chess, and you're still playing checkers. <laughs> if anyone's an H3 friend I've never played checkers I don't know Yeah, yeah I'm not I'll good at checkers I do not know how to play checkers I don't know how to play checkers I don't play chess Chess is really fun I, I do want to play learn backgammon I learned how to play fun. domino let's, let's, let's get pie Let's get a pie show table <laughs> Pie show <laughs> Get a lotus Some lotus so we, we can play. Oh, yeah, yeah. We can play Chinese checkers For next uh, You know how to play Chinese checkers? No, no. <laughs> I need to learn back Let's learn backgammon So at the end man That was that was really big of The whole team Like they could have Asked for money you know? I feel like they're always sacrificing their money. <laughs> yeah, they are. You know, they're saving becoming, a dog or whatever. They're becoming more and more righteous as like the season goes on. I mean, I'm just noticing it. it's like money is not becoming a thing that they want. I just think they're bad bounty hunters. I don't think they're supposed or, to be or bounty that, hunters. Or that, <laughs> or they're becoming more righteous. They grew to love yeah. Ed. Like, <laughs> well, we found we Ed. found out Jet and uh, Spike have only been together for three years. So, yeah. So they. Maybe they've been bounty hunting separately longer than that, but as a team, they've only been doing it for th- about, com- about com- three years. The it's, camaraderie's grown. It was funny when Spike team. was like, tell me, like, I hate moody women, kids, and pets. I'm like, why are all three on this shit? <laughs> 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 he doesn't love them now. Like, yeah. they did that thing for the kid, basically. So, like, it's... You know. Yeah, it's great. I thought, I thought it was going to be something like you have to beat all three chess games. Like, there's three pieces, and there, there was going to be, like, three games you had to beat to uncover the... Yeah, it felt yeah. like it was that, but I guess they just had a bunch of couriers. It was cool. It was it was a nice little heartfelt story. I, I see the similarities with Firefly, too, in that, like, there was a big war, you know? Yeah. And that, Firefly had a, little, from that. had a lot of little stories. Mm-hmm. Self-contained mm-hmm. in the episode. But it gave more information about each character, obviously. Oh, yeah. This there show there were like... definitely influences from this show. What did you guys oh, think of the music? Oh, yeah. It's bittersweet, man. It's always bittersweet. I really enjoyed the music in this episode. They I took, did. They, they took their time with it. I was, I was hoping to hear the real Bohemian Rhapsody. <laughs> you were thinking yeah. of that one. I guess, like, what is a Rhapsody? Like, how do you classify that? Is it just I mean, like... it's... Is it song? I can't no, it's a, sti- it's a style. Style yeah. song? Yeah. So I'm trying to... They're like, usually pretty know. long. 
There yeah. was there was some long beats in there when they mm-hmm. were exploring yeah. the. Uh, they're they're pretty long and they switch <clears throat> tempo. Like, mm-hmm. like yeah yeah. Mm. It's like uh like I think you know when you have like stream of consciousness in literature. I think that in music, that's what you have as Rhapsody. Yeah. It's kind of like what you feel. <clears throat> just like. Yeah. I feel like yeah, his the, whole... Because it, it, it totally changes like the tone oh. of the entire song. Hex's yeah. whole life was the Rhapsody. Like he started out strong, he started out innovating, he developed this thing, and then he was betrayed, and then he slowly went senile. But at the end, he did his job, and then right before, then he passed. Mm-hmm. Poor Hex. Poor Hex. Well, that was really good. I want to see. I'm not really poor hex, man. My brother's gonna be 98, man. He's, I mean, really though, think about it. Well, he, he had to 90... like hide in garbage yeah. metal. Yeah, he pretty much hide. Yeah, he had to hide, but for a little bit at the end of but the day. But he got to help people. He liked animals, yeah. pets. He, like, you know. he lived how he wanted to live. Those yeah. were his choices. Yeah, in 98, playing chess, and he went against a formidable opponent that like gave pretty much his heart race. His protege, true. like his like that, pretty much like Ed is his like is the next him. Probably. Yeah, yeah, in a way, yeah, yeah. So, Best hacker around. I bet Ed will probably make some cool technology in the future for the, the galactic, oh, yeah. intergalactic universe to use. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, well, we will see you next time, I suppose. Yes, we will. Please, guys, comment, like, subscribe, and also remember, this is not a market substitute for the actual show. Watch it on Hulu. Yeah, man. If you watch on this DVD. on Hulu, y'all can watch it too. And yes, for uncut early reactions, please check out our Patreon. I know we're a lot ahead. So, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Peace! Bye! Thanks for watching another Cowboy Bebop with us. Shout out to our super patrons listed up there in yellow. Check out our Patreon for uncut and early access content. There's some really important links in the video description. Be sure to check those out as well. And we will see you guys next week.